Ho, 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 everybody. Yes, the new name of my channel is Santa Claus is now in the Philippines. <laughs> I thought it was appropriate since everywhere I go, everybody calls me Santa Claus. It used to be they just called me Joe. I guess because G.I. Joe, they call a lot of Americans Joe over here. But nobody ever called me ding a dan That was just kind of name I called myself when I lived in ding a I mean, I kind of still do. I have a place there, but it was destroyed by the Typhoon Ulysses. So we're going back January just to see how things are. But I don't know if it's going to be a permanent home or not. We don't know what we're doing. We've already been destroyed twice. I'm kind of tired of rebuilding already. So that's why I decided to change my name from Dingaland Dan to the Santa Claus of the Philippines. I think it's more appropriate. The hair's going to get longer. The beard's going to get longer. And more people will probably search on YouTube for Santa Claus than Dingaland Dan. So I just kind of wanted to maybe update things a bit. I mean, I only have less than 100 subscribers. But people can still find me if they search Dingaland Dan. But I'm going to start telling people just to search Santa Claus. Santa Claus of the Philippines, that is. Ho, ho, ho. And maybe it'll make a difference. We'll see. I don't know. Can't do much worse, I guess. And it is getting close to Christmas, so I guess it's a good time to do it. So, just have to get through the rest of December. And, which is only ten more days. And then we'll be in Dingaland, probably for a month. I really don't want to stay much more than a month, but we'll see how things go. I don't know, until we get a title... I just have to hold on to that place, maybe keep it as a vacation uh, spot, uh, well, at least until we get an actual title, but uh, for now, now we're still trying to sell this place in Batangas, and uh, just keep trying, keep trying, that's all we can do. Um... I tell everybody we know, we have it posted on Facebook uh, Marketplace, we have a video of on YouTube about it, so uh, anybody interested can find out the information of the house, and the price is all negotiable. Uh, what else is going on? Um... I don't know what we're going to do about Catherine's education for January. Maybe we can find a temporary tutor. or We're just going to have to do it ourselves. I mean, basically, the teacher's going over the same thing every day, every day the same thing. And it's not sinking into her head. I just don't know what her problem is. Uh, she's a very smart girl. Uh, she does hard stuff all the time. She knows how to upload videos. And games on her little iPad. She knows how to play games better than I do, that's for sure. Or her mother. She could do a lot of really difficult things. But she can't do the easy stuff. The real simple stuff. Like pronunciating vowels. They go over it every day. We're just trying to nail it into her head. Bang it, bang it, bang it. I don't know, she'll get it, she'll get it eventually, it'll just click one day, but I don't know why it's taking so long. 
Anyway, uh, I don't have the patience uh, for it. I'm glad we have a tutor. But uh, me and her mother both try to help out as much as we can. But um, eh, it's not easy. Definitely not easy. Teachers are definitely underpaid. I'm sure, especially here in the Philippines. Everywhere, but I'm sure particularly here. So, I mean, we're doing the best we can. I guess we're just going to have to uh, do the education part in, in January. We're just going to have to uh, take time out because, uh, I don't know, we'll look around and see if um, the school's open there, but um, I kind of doubt it. The rules here in the Philippines are still really, really strict, especially where children are are concerned. Um, they don't even let them out, as I've mentioned in many other videos. They're not allowed in the stores. They're not allowed out, really. They have to stay home. They're suffering the most out of everybody. I really feel sorry for them. So I doubt very much whether schools are going to open, at least for this year. Uh, I don't see any big changes in, in, in the near future. I got a feeling we're going to have, um, I don't know, at least another year of this stuff here in the Philippines. Maybe once the vaccine comes out and everybody starts getting shots, maybe things will change. But once again, uh, I think the Philippines will be down the road last. No vaccinations. I could be wrong. I mean, I heard uh, I heard at least the tests are going to be free coming up soon. As I mentioned in my last video. But um, I don't know if that's confirmed. That's just what I've heard. Uh... That's what Grace told me, and uh, Myrna said they saw it on the news. So, well, that's, I got to take it as uh, what they told me is the truth, what they heard on the news. Um, but anyway, we're going to have to pay for it if we're leaving before January, which we are. What else is going on? Uh, it's really strange not having any um, carolers. This is the first Christmas I've been here with being so quiet. Everybody says the same thing. And really, not many people even have Christmas lights up unless you're in the middle of town or in a big city. I mean, of course, they still celebrate uh, because it's a very... Catholic Christian oriented society here so uh, you can find it but um, it's just not the same uh, we're not we're not doing much that's for sure for Christmas it's it's not gonna be a, a prosperous one we're just gonna do the best we can so we've had a lot of hardships this year with uh, with the destruction, all the um, problems with Typhoon, Ulysses. But there's people a lot worse off than us, so I can't uh, totally complain. At least uh, we still have some of our structures are there. And we didn't lose totally everything like some people did. They lost their whole, their whole livelihood, everything. Their fishing boats and everything they count on to make money. <clears throat> so I really feel sorry for those people, especially in that small province, which uh, Dingalan is. Uh, especially when you get into the uh, smaller Brian guys, which uh, Mataway is. So I will know more once we get there. Um, hopefully things aren't as bad as they once were, although they're getting a hell of a lot of rain right now, and we were told there was some mudslides, 
especially where they're doing construction work on the roads and there's no trees on the uh, mountain sides because they had to bulldoze it to make the roads wider so apparently um, in those areas yeah there's nothing holding back the uh, the mud the earth so uh, like I said my videos will get at least at least they'll get more exciting once I get there you guys will see and know a lot more than I do now so I guess it's something to look forward to um, but if this is your first time viewing uh, the channel because I just changed the name uh, yeah it was formerly Dingaland Dan uh, you can still go to my channel here at Santa Claus is now in the Philippines um, and uh, look through all my past videos and you can see all my stuff from the past two years basically when I first moved here permanently and uh, you'll know my whole life story everything's right there for you guys to view and I would appreciate all of you to uh, hit that subscribe button do me a favor there's a bunch of uh, expats and Americans and Australians and everything else here. And uh, they have thousands, thousands of subscribers, tens of thousands of views. And I don't. So do old Santa Claus a favor and subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up, do old Santa a favor, Christmas is coming. Hey, if you don't like what I have to offer, you don't have to watch, but you can still subscribe. Do Santa a favor, ho, ho, ho. Even if you've been naughty or nice. Uh, I might have something special for you coming up. Uh, I don't have a book called The Night Before Christmas, but I got all the words from the internet. And I'm going to do a little uh, special with my daughter and uh, read it for her because I don't think she's ever heard it before. And uh, we'll do that coming up real soon. That should be nice. Um... I'll have her mother uh, hold the uh, camera, the phone camera, so I don't have any other camera. And um, she can film it while I talk, uh, read the story to my little girl, my precious little girl, who means the world to me, and is the reason I'm here. And uh, the reason for everything, she means more to me than I could ever dreamed of, especially at my age. Never thought it could be possible. But it is, and uh, I'm here, and uh, I'm making the best of everything, good and bad. And I hope you guys come along for the ride. Just to check out uh, this guy's life in the Philippines. So with that said, thanks again everybody for watching. Thanks again everybody for your support. Especially my family, my close friends, people I grew up with, people I went to school with. People that have already subscribed. Stick with me please. And share this channel. I really appreciate you guys support. And God bless everyone. In these trying times. In this holiday season. That's going to do it for me. Uh, Santa Claus. In the Philippines. Out. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Good night.